My mom, my sister, do you have hand cream? I'm like, where's your stuff at? Bring your stuff out. 99% kills your bacteria. Nine, what? 99% bacteria killage. Killage is not even a word. Bless his name. Killage kills whatever, okay? It's 99%, okay? His name is worthy. Everything is just so good. Everything is so good. Everything is so good. What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are going to be going over all of my Sephora Spring Savings Event recommendations. I mean, this list can go on and on and on, but I wanted to be a little bit mindful <laughs> of everyone's budget while making sure that I share with you products that I have been in love with all the while. If you haven't already, make sure you are following me on Instagram. When I'm not here, I am there. Also make sure you are subscribed here. So if you're shopping the sale, I want you to comment and let me know what status you are. This is not a competition. I'm just curious because Rouge is up first and I am a Rouge member. I'm addicted. I love it. I'm just, I enjoy it so much and I get to shop first. And if you're Rouge and so do you, then you have the other levels, but let's just get into all of the recommendations. The first product that I want to recommend to you is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. If you have not already, you need to watch my review on this product. I'll link it below for you, but it is so good. I did, uh, what was it, 14 day wear test on it. I literally have it on right now. So if you are loving this foundation, this is it. Natural finish, definitely gives you a satin glow. It's not matte. The coverage is beautiful. This actual shade literally looks like my skin. I cannot think of anything better than this. I went and bought another one because the first one that I wore in the wear test, I put in my travel suitcase. I wore it in Dubai every single day. I absolutely love it. So I kept that in my travel suitcase and then I have another one that I'm using at home. It is just so good. If you don't get anything else, I recommend that you figure out your shade because I chose my shade online based on what I know that I love, which is neutral. I stick with neutral foundations now, a little bit of cool, a little bit of warm mixed together. You got yourself a little neutral situation and that's what I have. I'll leave this shade below it is fantastic end of story two other foundation tinted products that i would recommend are going to be the charlotte tilbury and also the nars advanced skin listen i cannot remember all these names i'm going to link everything that i mentioned down below for you i did videos on each of those in separate videos so make sure you watch those also i'll link it below for you girl they were both so good if you had to ask me which of those are my favorite they're all good they're all good good. They all give a natural finish. I believe they're all medium coverage. I cannot remember off the top of my head right now, but they're so good. In the NARS one, there are two shades that match me because you know I could either match my skin exactly or I could go a little darker in the winter time. I can lighten it up. The whole shebang. If you've been here for a while, you know exactly what I mean when I say that. If you haven't watched some videos, you'll get caught up pretty quickly. But I love to have different shade options depending on what my skin tone looks like. You know, if I'm on vacation, I'm a little bit more chocolatey i need a good option you feel what i'm saying but those three are so good girl do, do you need all three of them let me just say it okay you need to get all three i'm sorry i cannot choose i cannot choose they're all so good i'll link them below now the powder that i love to use on top of my foundation if you watched my powder foundation video then you understand what i mean or any of my tutorial videos you've seen me put on a powder foundation it's one of the last steps as far as my face is concerned right so the powder foundation is going to give me more coverage I like that, but I also like how it brings the whole face together. And the One Size by Patrick Star Powder Foundation is one that I have been loving. The coverage is fantastic. It's creamy, it's beautiful, it's powder, but it has foundation in it. So it's a little bit creamy, you know, and it gives great coverage. In fact, today I have it on my eyelids as an eyeshadow, but it's just powder foundation. The color I use, Dark 4G, it just, ah, I love the gold, the goldenness that it gives to my skin. Like the skin is skinning right now, okay? Comment and let me know if you love this look. First of all, let me tell you about that. This is my everyday soft glam look. I'm changing up my language. I usually call it my basic everyday look, but this is pretty much everyday soft glam. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm wearing the HD foundation, the Make Forever one. I'm also wearing the One Size Powder Foundation. It is just so good. You need it. You can certainly wear that by itself. If you're one of the girls who likes 
likes to just do powder foundation really fast. You got brows already, you know what I'm saying? Do a little gloss out the door. You definitely can do that with this product. The coverage is fantastic. It goes without saying when it comes to mascara, my favorite is Lawless One and Done Mascara. I have it on right now, actually, on my bottom lashes. I am wearing lashes, duh, like that's just a must. But the Lawless One and Done Mascara is fantab. If you like a chunky, elongated lash, you're going to like this. This is not the kind of mascara. It's gonna give you, you know, when your lashes are like one, 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 it ain't gonna give you that. It's gonna give you thick, chunky, but in a good way, not a goopy, nasty way, in my opinion, in a great way. I like for the lashes to look voluminous, thick, dark, great. And it just snatches my under eyes so well. Love this mascara. I use it all of the time. I have it in my travel suitcase, in the bathroom, and in my kit here in the studio. I got it everywhere, honey. And I use that specifically on my bottom lashes because of how great it makes it look. I don't care to have it look that great on the top because I always, always wear lashes, which I'll link below in case you're like losing your mind. <laughs> Okay, now another foundation is the KVD Good Apple Bomb so-and-so, so-and-so foundation. It is so good. I like to use number 98 as a contour because it's very dark. And then the color right underneath that I use as my foundation. It is so good. I haven't used it in a long time. I don't know what I've been doing. I've been trying out the new launches. That's what I've been doing. But it is so good. I use a sponge when I use that because it's so full coverage that I want to sheer it out just a smidge. If you watch my video where I compare foundation applied with a brush versus a sponge, you'll understand what I mean. That one, it still looks so good with a sponge. And honestly, that is the only foundation I will use a sponge to apply. Everything else, I use a brush. It is so good. It doesn't require much. It blends, it spreads, a little goes a long way. It is fantastic. And they recently launched the same name KVD Good Apple Bomb da, 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 with the concealer and you saw me do a wear test. I think it was eight hours. Make sure you watch that video all recent and that looks really good. I have it on today. A lot of you said you couldn't see the creasing. I'm just like whatever. I still liked it a lot. You feel what I'm saying? Creasing is natural. We've discussed this. Just watch the video and grab it. It is just so good. The color I'm wearing is 177. I love the finish of it. It blends easily. It's probably pigmented. It's full coverage. It's just so good. It is just, everything is just so good. Everything is so good. Everything is so good. Ooh, honey, you gotta make sure you have the Urban Decay All Night A Long Lasting Setting Spray. Now that one I do recall because I recently did another campaign with Urban Decay with the same setting spray. They've got the regular one. It's going to give you a satin finish, a little bit shiny, but not like mad dewy. Ooh, speaking of mad dewy, I love the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray. That one is gonna make you dewy and it's perfect if you live in a cold weather area or you just wanna save it for the winter time. You do need to have a set of products products for hydration and a set of products for mattification. And you can mix and mingle depending on the situation and, and the environment. I'm gonna add that to the list. I'm gonna add milk makeup to the list because that one is so good too. It'll make you dewy and glowy. You're gonna love it if you're wanting a glow. If you're wanting to stay matte, Urban Decay, long lasting, that whole thing, but get the ultra matte version. And then of course the original version of the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray is going to make you look satin. It's in between matte and hydrating. It's just right in between. A nice blend if you wanna just look natural. It'll look really, really good. And it'll help your makeup last all day. Okay. Gotta have your sunscreen, put it on every single day, put this on before your makeup. That should be your last step of your skincare routine in the morning, rain or shine. It's a cloudy day today. And you best believe I have on my sunscreen. That does not mean, oh, there's no sun. My windows are closed. Let me not put on sunscreen. The devil's a liar. Make sure it's on. Comment and let me know if you have on sunscreen today. I'm taking a good old tally. Let me know what you're doing and what one you're wearing. I love, and you know this already, I have been loving the Shiseido Clear Stick SPF 50 sunscreen. I love how easy it is. It's a stick, you twist, and you just rub it on. It's completely clear, okay? It's a chemical sunscreen. Any, anybody die from a chemical sunscreen? So I just love it. It just makes life easy. It's so easy to use. It's not messy. You know, you're not putting this on your hand. But I have recently tried out the Super Goop Every Single Face sunscreen, which is a product that you do want to put on your hands and your fingers and then rub together and apply that's going to give you a very hydrating finish so if your skin is dry that's a perfect one for you the shiseido one however is not going to make you hydrated like your skin will look 
the same that it did before you applied it. Unless you are wicked dry, you'll see a little tinge of a sheen, but not really. With the super group one, you are gonna be dewy. And I love that when my face is feeling dry. So either or, both have a time and a place. Link in those two below for you as well. Make sure you're wearing your sunscreen. Make sure you're wearing your sunscreen. I'm not gonna say it again. Now when it comes to brows, honey, I've been using the same old, same old now. I have been using the lip bar, but this is a Sephora haul, Sephora discussion right now. Charlotte Tilbury Brow Chi in the color Natural Black, honey. I have purchased so many of the refills. I love the idea that I just purchase a refill that is what, five or $10 less than, than buying the whole full size pencil again. It's great. The color is perfecto. It goes on smoothly. The pencil is not too thin that's gonna break and it's not too thick that I can't get fine strokes. It is just perfect. It's definitely one of my faves. You also need a brush cleaner. Okay, so Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I keep it in all of my makeup stashes. You can quickly and easily clean your brushes. Takes like two seconds. It smells like vanilla. It dries down easily and your brushes are clean. 99% Bacteria killage, killage is not even a word, bless his name, whatever, okay? It's 99%, okay? His name is worthy. So go ahead and grab that. I have the travel version that I keep in my makeup stash just because it's small and it's compact and like easy. I do have the big version that I use to refill the small travel versions in my suitcase, in the bathroom, and here in the studio. It is good. If you're working for the kid, it makes things real easy and it cleans your stuff and it smells good. I love a good fragrance. And if you're wondering, so damn wearing Baccarat Rouge 540, I went to the post office. I digress, but you have time. I was in the post office and the lady said, excuse me, what fragrance are you wearing? I was like, oh, me? <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540. She goes, what? I said, Baccarat Rouge 540. She's like, what? Can you write it down? I said, I, I sure can. Cause girl, you're going to go back and be like, what did she say? Boobala who? <laughs> Baccarat Rouge, don't play. But like I said, I digress. And we will get into fragrances, don't worry. Now it come, when it comes to brushes, I use a lot of Sephora brushes and mixes of other ones. You know that already, Sigma, da 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 But the Sephora brushes that I get asked about a lot are the Sephora 70 brush and 56 brush. Make sure you grab both of those. They have great uses. I use them all the time. I didn't mention the Laneige lip sleeping mask because I always do, but I just did. So in a way, I just did mention it. I'm gonna link it for you because it's really good. I have a new one though, and it's the Agave Lip Scrub. Scrub them lips, honey. Dry lips don't look good underneath mattes, satins, even glosses. Dry lips do not look good on the glosses, ew. I can't do it. There's also the Gave Nighttime Lip. I can't think of the name right now, but I'll show you. And I'll link it below too, really good. I am big on my lips looking and feeling good. I'm just big on everything. Like I'm big on it all. And now onto skincare, honey. Let's talk about First Aid Beauty. Now, I don't have the discount code like I used to. I do apologize, but you are gonna get the discount at Sephora based on your level, you know? Praise be to Jehovah, okay? The first thing I wanna recommend to you are the First Aid Beauty Ingram Hair Bump Pads. Girl, the names of things trip me up, okay? I'll have it all below, like I said. The Ingram Bump Pads are fantastic. Now let's talk about them. It has AHA and BHA in it. And and the way I remember it is B, beneath. So beneath the skin surface, it's gonna clean out the bacteria, honey. It's going deep and it is gentle. I have not had a reaction. And AHA is on top. So the top layer is just gonna clean up the bacteria on that layer as well. So this product does both of those things. And I believe it has niacinamide in it, which is gonna lighten dark spots. I gotta, I gotta look at it again, but it is so good. I use it on my armpits, cause you know we shave in the armpits and I've used it on a groin. It is for the groin, honey. And we've discussed this in Dubai on the weekly vlog. I'm not ashamed to say it, honey. Listen, the fact of the matter is this. When we sweat and the sweat interacts with bacteria, that is when we have what? Body odor. If you don't want to have body odor, you need to make sure that you are tackling the bacteria on your skin. So anywhere that we have skin on skin contact, and that stuff is just festering and stuff. That's when you're gonna have that body odor. Obviously we're not going in. This is external use only. Don't come put this in your vagina and then come holler at me because I'm not the one I did not tell you that. Stick on the outside, okay? He's worthy. And we gonna get to it too. We gonna get to the, the boot. We're not gonna get demonetized. You saw what I just did, right? We gonna get up in there, just like we did in the Dubai vlog. We got the front and the back, okay? Get up in all of that. Very gentle, I have not had a problem. We're just talking the simple stuff, all right? This stuff works. Everyone's groin needs to be fresh, you know? Try it, 
and send me a message. Comment, I want to know because I want you to see how how seriously amazing this is. I've already gone through two cartons, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also first, A Beauty has the KP Bump Eraser. I used that all year, absolutely love. Use it on my elbows, on wet skin, in the shower, behind my thighs, on my knees. So I don't have that, all those little bumps. It's a protein buildup, basically. It's natural, but who wants to deal with that? So use the Bump Eraser in these areas, what, once, twice a week, as much as your skin can tolerate, and it just breaks down that protein buildup up and then you have smooth skin and it lightens up a little bit too so go ahead and do that honey that is good stuff now the Fenty hand cream is a product that I had for a while and I wasn't in a rush to use it but I keep it in the kitchen dishwashing and the whole nine I need something rich I can't be doing a little watery fragrancy stuff so I use that on my hands and girl it's really really good it has a very unique applicator or sprout or spout whatever the, you know the product comes out of and it's really really good it's not greasy but it's like satin it's nice it's formulated very very nicely so I enjoy using it because of all the dishwashing it is perfect for the kitchen or even for your purse you know all the outside hand washing we need to be doing that you should be doing that I hope you do it. Pharmacy has this niacinamide sleeping mask that I really wasn't sure about when I tried it, but baby, it is a product that when I wake up, my skin will still be hydrated when I've used. It is so good, okay? It feels like a water, like a watery mask on the skin. It is fantastic. It is really, really good. Now I've used it on my skin without a serum underneath it and I've done it with a serum and it's equally as good. Now, my main problem is I'll start off on my back and I'll end up on my side and I'm just like, what in tarnation? My skincare is now on my pillow. Like, what is this? Like, what a waste. It is so good. It is so good. If you need hydration, extra hydration at nighttime, that is a good product to use. You wanna stick with those watery type, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, watery type products. Milk Makeup also has a moisturizing cream that I was again like, what, milk makeup? I'm thinking of makeup, girl. Mm -mm. That cream, it's a cream, is so good. That is also a product that I've used on top of serums and things and I've woken up still hydrated. Like I can still feel the product on my face when I get up, amazing. I love a product that is still there when I wake up. Because think about it, with air conditioner or heat and just in the nighttime in general, we all go through TUL, T-E-W-L, trans epidermal water loss. It happens to all of us, okay? So the product you use on your body and on your skin is important if you have dry or dehydrated skin. Because we're going to, it's gonna evaporate off of our skin at night. You need something thick, okay? That's why the body creams are good for the evening time. You want hydration on the body in the evening time okay he's worthy and then when it comes to the face that's the body too but we always say you know it's different you want extra hydration there as well both of these are very very good but the first one like i said pharmacy one is more of a hydrating watery but in a good way product the milk makeup is more cream also very good, both good options. Now, as far as exfoliation is concerned, Paula's Choice BHA AHA Liquid Exfoliant is really good. It is strong in a good way. It's for the face, of course. The first time that I used it, I was like, what? My skin had an irritation to it, but that doesn't mean that the product is not good. I was just irritated by it. It was so strong. So I am going to certainly use it again, but just be more mindful not to use it around the time that I have done my prescription, which in itself has a retinol, which exfoliates the skin, okay? If you're confused, I'm sorry, but when the more you know, the more you know. So that product alone, though, is really, really good. If you suffer from acne, then you want to use such a product. Put it only in the area that you need it. Avoid the eye area. I don't wanna scare you, it's gonna work. Okay, also Dermalogica has the daily microfoliant, which I love, I've, show, I've shown it to you on stories, reels, videos, the weekly vlog, all the things. And it's a powder, you mix it with some water, rub it into a paste, rub it onto your face. You can use it every day if your skin can tolerate it or once, twice a week, every, every other day, depending on what you wanna do. It is a very, very great product to keep that skin cell turnover rotation going because after age 25, our skin cell turnover slows down, so more dead skin on your face. And that doesn't look cute on a day-to-day -day basis, nor does it look cute under makeup. So get you a good exfoliating product. If you've used it, comment and let me know.
Now let's talk about fragrance. Now I'm sure you've already seen my monthly fragrance lists and stuff, you know, in video form, but let's talk about a few that are part of the monthly and not, cause you may or may not have seen the video. You know how much I love fragrance. But when I was in Paris recently, watch my Dubai vlog, I picked up Hermes Twilly Eau Ginger. It is so amazing. Just absolutely fantastic, okay? I'm not gonna go into all the notes here because I have already done that in that video, but if you love a warm floral, you're going to love this product. And it's Hermes, for God's sake, like, hello. In Dubai, I picked up Giorgio Armani C Passion. It is so good. First of all, lady told me that you're not gonna find it many places. It was like something, something, not limited edition, but like, you know, special and all of that. So I was like, oh, boop, let me get the 3.4, honey. And then recently, Sephora came out with it. I was like oh so was I first in the game like what was it but it is so good as hell beautiful red bottle just fantastic another Hermes fragrance for a man in your life brother cousin uncle stepdad grandpa is Hermes H24 I love it a lot I smelled the just the Hermes eau de, eau de parfum it smelled like an old man to me I didn't like that now H24 honey so so good if you like my recommendations for men's fragrance which I haven't shared that many but I have in the past shared Joe Malone myrrh and Tonka baby please if your man don't like musk he ain't gonna like it okay H24 if I remember correctly it's got a citrus to it it's just it's fresh it's it's so good okay it's really really good Mugler alien goddess love that that's a really good one to add to your list Kayali Eden Juicy Apple is really good too. Sweet, beautiful for the summertime. That is a must. Even if you get the travel version of it, it is so, so good. Ooh, Nest Golden Nectar Eau de Parfum. That is a new one for me. So good. Just a beautiful scent. And Nest is usually more on the affordable side. That is a really good fragrance. You're gonna go in the store too, like smell these things, but like so good. If you love my fragrance recommendations, you're gonna love the Nest Golden Nectar. It's like a no brainer. You know, replica beach walk is real good too, honey. Definitely for the summertime, for the spring. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself ready, you know, for all your trips you're gonna take yourself on. I'm calling it. We we naming it, claiming it. <laughs> is that prosperity gospel? I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Hi. All right, let's move on to hair, okay? Now, Sal Janeiro, first of all, they've got a, an amazing hand sanitizer. It smells just like the, the fragrance of the boom boom and the eau de parfum. It's just great, okay? So go ahead and get you a hand sanitizer, honey. But Sal Janeiro also has the hair oil, the hair gloss, and it's in a spray bottle. It's the cutest thing, it smells great. I love using it on my, on my hairline, you know? I do the wigs, I do the laying down, all the things. And hair oil is great to lock in moisture. I've been using that and I've been enjoying it and I love a good fragrance. I've not felt like my hair has been dried out. It's been really, really good. Bread Beauty Supply has a hair oil that I've been using for a year and some change now. Also has a nice fragrance to it. Me also likes it too. And the bottle is so cute, you know? You can also grab that, a really good black owned. Hey, all right. Another black owned hair product that I like from Sephora is from Pattern Beauty. And I used their curling cream just recently. It is very nourishing. It does leave the white cast, but like what other black hair product for natural hair doesn't, you know? Many of them do, it's annoying. But it dries down clear and it's really nourishing. I enjoyed it, my curls were popping. I only used that. The next day, my curls were poofy, so if that's normal, let me know. I did a wash and go, you know? I don't normally do that, but you know, I enjoyed it on day one. Now onto body care, right? Back to Sal Janeiro, Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. That is a house favorite of mine. They send it, we buy it, we use it. My husband, I told you this several times, he's been using it, using it, and using it. I tell him like, honey, this stuff is mad expensive. To book a crap. And he be like, no, you're gonna get some more. I'm like, yo, I can't even deal with you. Ugh, you be doing so much. Gosh. It's good, man. You want a good fragrance? Listen, for me, I save that fragrance for special occasions, you know? Know, like vacations and stuff because it's like so good. I don't want to waste it. It is so good. I also love the teal bottle. That's the Coco Cabana. I'll show it to you. It is so good too. That one is for hydration and they, that one smells really good as well. If you're going by fragrance, then I, you would love the yellow one more, the Boom Boom Cream. Both of them are amazing. It's on sale. Just get both. You, know, you can get a little mini version for your purse. Oh, you can get the large version. Put it all over your body, baby. You gon' oh. Mm -hmm. 
All the things, honey, all the things. 54 Thrones Body Butter, baby. My mom is in love with it. In Dubai, I had it in my purse. My mom, my sister, do you have hand cream? I'm like, where's your stuff at? Bring your stuff out. They didn't want their stuff, honey. They wanted what I had. And I gave my mom one and she's used it already. I'm like, how? This is so prime, premier, fancy. How did you already finish it? She's like, I love it so much. I'm like, tool books, slow down, please. So I told her I'm gonna buy her the, the trio pack during the sale because she loves it so, so much. The fragrance is so potent, so good, so scrumptious. It's amazing. A good rich shea butter is great for the ashiest places of your life. And it's gonna really do the cuticles good. If you don't love anything greasy, it's not for you, you know? But if you are an African, Ghanaian, Nigerian, any, N, <laughs> you know? You know ash, okay? And you know you need, you need shea butter and couture, you need the real one. And this is good. And the fragrance is, it overtakes it in a good way. It just reminds me of Forever Mood Jackie Eye Night Candles, which we are going to talk about, you know? Right now. I mean, I have loved every candle except one or two that I cannot think of. I just can't even say enough, you know? The wick burns very beautifully. You know how you got candles with a flame be like all oh, wild? And I'm not referring to the candles that have the wick that burns like a campfire, you know, like camp woods and stuff. Not that, okay? But you just, you know, you know when you're burning a very luxurious candle and the candles burn so smoothly and so beautifully. The fragrance is A1, you know, chef's kiss, you see? Five stars, you get what I'm saying? Just absolutely amazing. I burned those last. I have gone through so many Bath & Body candles and I still have candles from a year ago that I am waiting on. I'm burning a candle from last Valentine's Day, 2021 Valentine's Day set. The purple and pink set, I'm burning one. I'm not even burning it, okay? I burn it once or twice in the bathroom and I covered it up. Like, I'm burning Bath & Body more than I'm burning those because they're so good. Every now and then I'm like, yo, what am I waiting for? Treat yourself. And so I'll burn hers, but I be like, wait, like, we don't wanna do too much. It's bad good. Like, it will engulf the whole room in 2.2 seconds. The scent lingers, they call it the throw. It's gonna throw, honey. Allie, oop. I mean, just all the things, it is so good. And then another home fragrance product from Sephora, the Nest Home Diffusers. I have one in the bathroom. I have one in our closet. It's done, I need to replace it. And then I have one in the entryway. I'm just a fragrance freak. <laughs> to call it a freak though because who's not gonna be funky not me and my person and not me in my home you know praise the lord so i love a good diffuser i love a good candle i love a good plug-in honey we got all bases covered you feel what i'm saying if we had no electricity it's still gonna smell good up in here diffusers hi you know what i'm saying that was a long list i hope that you laughed in this video i be trying to do a lot to like entertain you but it don't take much this is all natural you know the wig is not but <laughs> It's all natural. The wittiness, it's all me. Hi. <laughs> Make sure you are subscribed here if you haven't already because I can't tell you anybody else who's going to entertain you and educate you at the same time. Because if you know anybody else, then you lying because it's not possible. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram because when I'm not here, I'm there. Like I said, shop the sale using my links because you're supporting a black owned business. Me, I am black. I own this business, you know, he's worthy. I'm gonna leave two videos for you here to watch if you have time and you like to watch YouTube like I do. But as always, I'm glad that you watched this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.